Hi guys, it's prophetic, um, well, it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's supposed to be 2-2 two, two Tuesday, but once again, it's on Wednesday. So um, I got caught up in a few podcasts this week. One was Elijah Streams with my good friend Steve Schultz, and another one was with my uh, good friend Pastor Troy Brewer from Open Door Church. So um, I just had so many um, podcasts and things going on and media things. So I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and talk to you here for a second. Um, I titled this thing, Are We Going From uh, Strength? Are we, are we Gaining Strength? Are We Getting Stronger? And I was thinking about how we go from strength to strength and glory to glory, right? And the way that that usually happens is that circumstances come our way that challenge us. They cause us to have to seek out God and find out, okay, what is your plan? We didn't see this coming. We need to find out what do you want to do about it? What's your deal? How are we supposed to navigate? How are we supposed to um, to move forward uh, in a time like this? And because uh, we are going to go from strength to strength, you know, we're going to realize that you, you'll find this all through your walk, okay? What you thought used to be hard long time ago well, you've lived life and you've learned how to overcome and you've learned how to navigate through and you've learned how to grow in grace and grow in strength and you've learned how to almost come to a place of immunity where things that used to bug you don't bug you anymore, right? And, and so that's a place of strength. And I know that I have a friend who's a personal trainer and she, <laughs> I use her, well, I used to when I lived in Utah, but anyway, uh, she was talking about whenever you want your uh, muscles to grow, you want your muscles to get stronger, they always bring them to the point of failure. And you think that, oh my gosh, you know, I just can't know how much more I can take. And that's when the strength, yeah, the resistance training comes in. And I think we're in a spiritual resistance training program by God right now because of some things that are getting ready to happen. We need to realize something, okay, that there's war in the heavens. And when there's war in the heavens, it's reflected or it's felt on earth every time. And so we are learning how to be good soldiers. We're learning how to endure hardship as a good soldier. We're learning how to persevere. We're learning how not to give up. We're learning how not to faint when it gets hard. We're learning how not to believe everything we hear unless it comes from God. Jesus was teaching that a long time ago when we first got born again. He said, listen, he told the disciples, I, you know, hear the voice of the good shepherd and the voice of another you don't listen to. So we've got to learn how to listen to the voice of the good shepherd, who is Jesus. And uh, because he is the one who's going to instruct us and tell us what we need to do in the days ahead. And so it's real easy for us just to start concluding or, or drawing conclusions and start believing things and, and holding on to things that really aren't gonna matter. Let me tell you this, there's a lot of stuff that's being thrown at us right now, and it's petty, okay? It's just petty. And there'll be offenses, and there's gonna be times when you're gonna get hurt, there's gonna be times when somebody said something and it's misunderstood, or maybe they meant it, maybe they were having an off day. But you know what I've learned? I've learned that I have to let my love be stronger than the offense. I've got to let my love be stronger because it's petty. It's just nothing more than a tripping wire. It's something to try and trip you up while you're running the race. It's, it's something to try and drag you off course or make you upset or whatever. And we have to learn how to grow in strength. We need to learn how to grow up and, and not take everybody's words that they say and get all upset about it, okay? You, we have to learn how to endure hardship, endure, uh, um, resistance training really and and learn what Jesus wants us to do um, you know if, if we grow in love if we grow in our love then then the rest of this stuff is not even going to be a real issue you will learn how to love covers a multitude of sin okay it covers you and that's what people need that's what I need that's what other people need is we need to be covered we need to learn how to be covered uh, so that we're we, we have a safe place where we can uh, you know be honest about things and and be able to work through things and learn a lesson from it 
there's always something that will happen. God designs it almost. Like he'll say, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to teach you something. And then you'll go through a circumstance and the circumstance will will show weaknesses or show things in us that we need to get stronger doing so that we're we're not falling constantly and tripping over the same thing over and over again. I always heard um you know, you don't ever fail God, one of God's tests. You just keep taking it until you pass it. And I think that's really true. I mean, we don't fail his tests, but he's trying to get us to pay attention to him. He's trying to get us to where we don't fall every time something happens, that we don't faint and that we don't get weary and that we don't get upset and we don't allow our emotions, our, our feelings, our soulish realm to dictate how our response is going to be. That's where you learn to be spirit-led, you know? You have to understand that God is not, he's not, he's not, your feelings are gonna follow your choices, okay? So we've got to learn how to follow the voice of the Holy Spirit. We have to, because he's gonna be the one to train us. He's gonna be the one to teach us. He's gonna be the one to, to give us instruction in days ahead. And if we if we get side railed, or if we we haven't if we've not understood how the enemy comes in, he does this all the time. I mean, he does it with news stories. You know, it's it's like here we are with this important topic, and then all of a sudden, oh look over here, it's so and so's birthday, or look at the outfit they were wearing, or whatever, some movie star or something. It's like so what. You know, and so we have to be careful what we pay attention to, easily distracted. We can't be ADD in the kingdom. We have to learn how to, to really follow closely and listen to what God's trying to teach us and how, how he's trying to strengthen us right now. We're being strengthened for a battle ahead. And that's just all there is to it. You know, uh, when the uh, disciples got in the boat and they went across over to the river, um, and Jesus had already told them, we're going to the other side. Well, a, a big old storm came up, right? And it started to freak people out. It started to freak them out. They were, they were, and they're, they're, they're not novices to the, to the water, okay? So they know about fishing and they know about rivers. They know about lakes. They know about uh, oceans. They know about these things. They understand uh, boats and they know how uh, things start happening. This one was pretty uh, severe enough to where Jesus was sleeping, knowing where he was going to end up was on the other side. But the disciples were, uh, were so freaked out, they woke him up and said, we're going to die. So they gave a different report than he gave, right? And I know we've heard this story a hundred times, but after that, you know, when Jesus woke up, the first thing he said, he said, where, he said, how long do I have to put up with you? Where is your faith? How long do I have to put up with you in your little faith? I'm trying to grow you up. I'm trying to get you strong. I'm trying to get you to listen to what I said. What I said was, we're going to the other side. No matter what the circumstances look like, no matter what comes up in the middle of the ocean, no matter what kind of trouble you might think you occur, God said, you're going to the other side. Well, if he said we're going to the other side, that's where we're going to end up. So, so he was challenging them. He said, you got to learn to listen to me, man. You got to learn how to talk and, and, and listen to what I'm telling you. You got to look at the, at the direction that I'm taking you and realize that I'm not going to fail you. I'm never going to fail you. I'm always, I've always got something else, regardless of what kind of attack it is. He's got something, a way out of it. He's got something already that he's got planned to give you a way of escape. He's already got something that he's got in his mind, in his thoughts. He's already got something because he's teaching us and training us and counseling us with his eye. He's giving us instruction on what we need to do next. And so when he, you know, he got up, he was tired and he got up and he rebuked them and said, he rebuked them and said, how long do, basically one version says, how long do I have to put up with you and your little faith, right? And I thought, man, that's a stinging thing. Um, and so they, they were, they were learning as they went, but what they learned is they learned something through their trial. Okay. They learned something through their hardship. They learned something through their, their weakness or through their inability to, um, to, to put God first or to take him at his word. And, and so all along he used, Jesus used every opportunity, every kind of, 
um, thing that was coming against people to let them know, I've got to teach you how to listen to me. I've got, you, you've got to learn how to listen to me. If you'll listen to me, I will keep you in perfect peace. If you listen to me, I will keep you from falling. If you listen to me, I will give you instruction on things you don't know. If you will listen to me, I will give you answers to perplexing problems or situations that are out of your control. But you've got to learn to listen to me. You know, when this whole thing started happening with COVID and everything else and we didn't see it coming, that the first thing I did, the first thing, but this is just because of all the outreaches, maybe all the stuff I've gone through, I don't know. But the first thing I did is I went, wait a minute. I went right to God with it and said, what is happening here? What is this? What is this, go what is going on here? You know, because I wasn't just gonna take the bait. I wasn't just gonna take the bait and go, oh my gosh, you know, oh no, everybody's gonna die, the air is poison, you know, we're all gonna, it, 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 it's a real thing, okay? COVID was a real disease, and but there was also treatment for it that was withheld, so. But but the other thing was God was trying to get us to, to go to him first. Go to me first. Go to me first. He's always gonna be your comforter. He's always gonna be your instructor. He's gonna be your teacher. He's gonna be the one that tells you gives you guidelines, gives you understanding, and strengthens you in the place that you're weak so when it happens next time, you're not falling for it, okay? So anyway, that's that's the whole thing. Are we getting stronger in this? And everything that we've gone through and all the things that we've had to go through, are we getting stronger? Because that's really gonna be our question for the coming days. I'm gonna grow in, I'm gonna go from strength to strength and glory to glory. I'm gonna grow in strength in God. I'm gonna deepen my dependency on him. I'm gonna give him the opportunity to train me up in the way I should go. And then, you know, I'm not gonna depart from it because, and I'm gonna have him teach me his ways. Teach me your ways. I'm gonna walk in your truth. There's a lot of things I think I know, but when, when it gets really hard and, and I start letting my feelings get in the way and I start letting emotions get in the way, well then, you know, I start losing ground because God's not nervous. He's already got this figured out. He's our solid rock. He's the one that we run to. He's the one that's gonna hide us. We, are, we belong to him. He is jealous over us. He's protecting us. He's keeping us. He's gonna make sure that we have everything we need. I mean, all through the scripture, the promises of God that, that tell us how much he's involved in our lives and how, how watchful. Not even a bird falls to the ground without his notice, you know? Not even a sparrow. And so how much more does he look after us? But we have to learn how to trust him. And we've gotta learn how to grow in strength and faith and in listening to God. We've gotta deepen our dependency on him for the coming days. That way we're not having knee-jerk responses to everything coming up, all right? Okay, I love you guys. Um, sorry that it's Wednesday instead of Tuesday, but you know, it's just the way it goes. Um, we have a couple things coming up I want you to know about. We've got a, a workshop. It's an in-person workshop. It's called Doing the Stuff. It's gonna be September 17th and 18th. It's in Louisville, Texas. You want to come to this. It is very interactive. It is going to be very, very good. You're gonna come away feeling incredibly lifted up. You're gonna have a lot of cool uh, strategies and new things that we're gonna teach you. We're gonna listen to you as prophecy is being given. We want you to, um, to learn how to prophesy, learn how to do the works, learn how to go out and be a hymn to them to anywhere we go, no matter where it is. Um, we're gonna have creative uh, um, dancers. We're gonna have creative flag and worship that we're gonna bring to you. I know Caleb is coming and he's got all these different ways of worship and he and he wants to, you can also make a flag. He's also gonna do the flag making class, I think on Sunday. So you don't wanna miss that because it is so cool. If you get to do your own, it is your individual touch and Caleb is there to help you do it. And it's on my website, cindymcgill.org, cindymcgill.org, make sure and go there. Um, and sign up because the space is limited for that one. Um, and then also uh, we've got 
um, some Zoom classes coming up via Zoom. I'm going to be taking Open Door Church, all three services on Sunday. Um, and so pray for me because <laughs> it's going to be a lot, three services. But uh, actually, it's great. I have, they're such a great group, such a great church. It's going to be easy. You know, they're, they're real fun people. And um, I'm going to have a ball doing it. So I'll have my book there at Open Door as well. It's in Burleson, Texas, if you can make it. Um, we're going to start adding more classes of training via Zoom and, um, and online training because I know a lot of people can't get out and travel. So we're going to start doing that, and that's on the website. And then also um, make sure and go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to it. And also the Elijah Streams, I did a thing with um, Steve Schultz yesterday with Elijah Streams. So make sure and catch that. Uh, podcast and we'll have that up for you on on the um, on the shout that's coming out okay so sign up for the shout if you haven't because it's going to be have a lot of information and a lot of cool stuff um, that we'll be doing all right all right so I just wanted to, to give you that little nugget while I'm sitting here and I've got all my makeup on which I never wear and my hair looks like it's doing pretty good today so felt good about that and make sure and get my book, Words That Work, if you haven't. And also um, the dream book. And I've got a dream journal. And then I've got a few things that we're creating. It's going to be fun. All right. Um, I love you guys. And, oh, Charisma. Make sure and go to Charisma and download the podcast because this is, this is it. So, all right. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Okay. I don't know. So, um Thank you guys for your love, your support, your kindness. Those of you that partner with us, we could not do what we do without you. And we're going to be doing more and more outreaches into arenas and places where we, you know, we're, we're, the, we're, we're following God. How about that? Into some places where um, most people wouldn't go. So, all right. Um, we will talk with you soon. And God bless you. All right. Bye.